main parts of a computer, learning objectives. After viewing this information sheet, you must be able to 1. Identify and describe the different parts of a computer system. Basic parts of a computer. There are many different models of computer which includes the desktops and laptops, but they all have the same hardware parts which include the system unit, monitor, keyboard, and the mouse. Input, process, output. All computers follow the stages of input process output storage. The input stage involves putting information into the system. The process stage involves doing something with the information. The output stage involves displaying results. The storage stage keeping data when the computer is switched off. Four main components of a computer system. One. Input devices. Input devices are any hardware connected to the system unit, used to put data or information into the computer. Mouse is peripheral that is known as a pointing device. It lets you point to objects on the screen, click on them, and move them. It usually has a primary button, usually the left button, a secondary button, usually the right button, and a scroll wheel between the two buttons which allows you to scroll smoothly through screens of information. Keyboard, the set of typewriter-like keys that enables you to enter data into a computer. The keys on computer keyboards are often classified as follows. Alphanumeric keys, letters and numbers. Punctuation keys, comma, period, semicolon, and so on. Special keys, function keys, control keys, arrow keys, caps lock key, and so on. Microphone, sometimes abbreviated as mic, is a peripheral that allows users to input audio into their computers. 2. Output devices. Output devices are any hardware capable of representing information from a computer. This includes display screens, printers, and speakers. Monitor. This display output device works with a video card, located inside the system unit. The monitor displays images, videos, and text on the screen. Most monitors have control buttons that allow you to change your monitor's display settings, and some monitors also have built-in speakers. Printer is a peripheral that produces hard copies or printouts of information from a computer onto paper. Some printers are also designed to especially for printing photographs, or CD labels straight onto the CD. Speakers, are audio output devices that are used to play sound. They can be built into the system unit, or connected with cables. Speakers allow you to listen to music, and hear sound effects from your computer. Projector is an output device that can take the display of a computer screen and project a large of it onto a flat surface. They are often used in meetings and presentations to help make sure everyone in the room can view the presentation. 3. Process. Processing refers to the computer performing operations and calculations using the data that has been input in software. This processing of data is done by the central processing unit, CPU, commonly described as the brain of the computer located inside the system unit. The CPU is sometimes referred to as the microprocessor or processor. 4. Storage. Storage devices are alternatively known as storage, storage media, or storage medium. They are hardware devices capable of holding information. The two storage devices used in computers are primary storage, alternatively referred to as internal memory, internal storage device, main memory, and primary memory. Primary storage is a storage location that holds memory for short periods of times while the computer running. There are two types of memory, the RAM and the ROM. RAM random access memory. The memory available for the operating system, 
programs and processes to use when the computer is running. RAM requires a flow of electricity to retain data. It is a type of volatile memory. Data in RAM is not permanently written. When you power off your computer, the data stored in RAM is deleted. ROM read only memory. The memory that comes with your computer, that is pre-written to hold the instructions for starting up the computer. ROM will retain data without the flow of electricity. It is a type of non-volatile memory. Data in ROM is permanently written and is not erased when you power off your computer. B Secondary Storage Device These are alternatively referred to as external memory, auxiliary storage, and mass storage. A secondary storage is a storage medium that holds information until it is deleted or overwritten regardless if the computer has power. The following are examples of secondary storage. Floppy disks. They are relatively slow and have a small capacity, but they are portable, inexpensive, and universal. Hard disks. They usually serve as your computer's primary means of storage, holding almost all of your programs and files. The hard disk drive, HDD, is normally located inside the system. External hard disks are also available, which makes it easy for you to add more disk space to your PC. Optical disk systems. These use a laser to read and write data. Optical disks such as CDs and DVDs have large storage capacity, but they are not as fast as hard disks. In addition, the inexpensive optical disk drives are read only. Read-write varieties are expensive. USB flash drives. These are small, portable devices that plug into a computer's USB port. Like hard disks, they store information, but usually a lot less than most hard drives. They are sometimes referred to a lot of names like pen drives, thumb drives, keychain drives, key drives, or memory sticks. Flash memory cards. They are mostly used in digital cameras and cellular phones to store pictures, videos, music and other types of information. You can erase and reuse memory cards over and over. You can use a USB cable to move pictures from your camera to your computer, or you can use a memory card reader. Other common peripherals in a computer system A scanner is an input device that lets you take a copy of a document or image. You might want to copy a photo, a picture from a book, a plan, etc. To connect your computer to the Internet, you need a modem. A modem is a device that sends and receives computer information over a telephone line or high-speed cable. They are sometimes built into the system unit, but higher-speed modems are usually separate components.